It's a story that nearly every media outlet has picked up. Is Aaron Rodgers a Sandy Hook denier? It's a serious allegation first published in a CNN exclusive. CNN says the quarterback told two sources the school massacre was a hoax, the grieving parents were actors, and it was a government inside job. CNN sources? A reporter, Pamela Brown, who says the comments were made in 2013 when she first met Rogers at a Kentucky Derby party. The other source is an anonymous one. Rogers responded, denying ever saying the tragedy wasn't real. Right-leaning media are calling out CNN for the report, while CNN is standing by their sources. It was this headline by CNN that started all the chatter. RFK Jr.'s VP prospect Aaron Rodgers has shared false Sandy Hook conspiracy theories in private conversations. CNN's Jake Tapper doubled down on the Rodgers story even after the Jets QB released this response to CNN's allegations. As I'm on the record saying in the past, what happened in Sandy Hook was an absolute tragedy. I am not and have never been of the opinion that the events did not take place. Today, Aaron Rodgers is responding to our story, kind of. If you read that statement, Rodgers does not deny those comments that he made to Pamela Brown and to the other source. While CNN stands by their report, right-leaning news outlets are slamming it. Fox News called it a hit piece, Outkick 2, and the Washington Examiner called it a smear campaign on Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers is no stranger to controversy or conspiracies. In a crossover from sports to news headlines, Rodgers has been in the media questioning the safety of COVID vaccines, questioning events around 9-11 and Jeffrey Epstein. Many of his personal beliefs sprung into the public eye, align with another controversial figure, presidential candidate RFK Jr., whom Rodgers has endorsed on social media. RFK Jr. says he will announce on March 26th who his VP pick is. Rogers is reportedly in the running. It was that announcement this week that CNN says inspired their sources to come forward about their alleged conversations with the QB.